Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we'll be doing a red and gray uh, abstract painting. We're going to brush the background red, and then we're going to scrape it, uh, the rest of the colors, with this scraper here. And we're going to basically start and kind of go from light to dark. So we're going to do the background, this light red, and then we're going to do light gray, and then we're going to do dark red, and then we're going to do dark gray, black um, on top. Now I had this idea in my head, uh, and the idea for the painting name is of smoke and blood. Now I understand it's a little gory, it sounds a little gory, but sometimes you just can't help the ideas that you have, and I think that those colors are very cool together. They're kind of ominous, right? A little, little dark, and the name is a little maybe unsettling I suppose but you know I I just I couldn't help it you know it's the thought that I had and it, it looked cool in my head so I'm hoping that the painting will be you know, as cool on paper as it sounded in my head so we're going to start by taping down our paper here and uh, just use a masking tape here uh, I don't recommend masking tape uh, for general use for for taping down paintings only because sometimes it likes to stick to the paper but as I've said in previous videos I, uh, I don't have any painters tape and I have a ton of masking tape so why not use it up so just kind of put it down and hopefully cover the edges kind of lightly so that you know, it's, it's covering it and the paint doesn't go over there, but at the same time, it's not, you know, sticking too much so that we can peel it off at the end when we, you know, pull the paint off. So we'll go ahead and put that there and cover the bottom and we are good to go. All right, so now that we've got our tape down, we've got this little box, uh, we can go ahead and start. So I did buy a new brush. I've got it here. We're going to start with the red and we're just going to go ahead and put a decent amount on there just to cover the background. Man, that, this color, this cadmium, I think it's the, oh, naphthol, naphthol red. I love that naphthol red. It's, it's a nice, uh, nice color actually. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and work this in and we're going to, uh, I'm going to basically do it the direction that we're going to be scraping. Um, this is so that when I apply the next layers, because I'll be scraping in the same direction, um, you know, maybe it will kind of fill in those gaps with the next colors. And we're going to put this out and kind of spread it out. And I might need a little bit more. We'll kind of see here in just a second. Now, while I'm doing this, uh, I did want to talk to you guys about something kind of cool. Uh, so, as of this video, um, I'm just over 800 subscribers, which is pretty cool. Um, my goal is at least 1,000. I mean, obviously, I'd, I'd like more than that. But, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for every person that, you know, subscribes and watches these videos. So, right now, the goal is 1,000. And uh, we're pretty close. We're at 800, and I think you know if, uh, if we can kind of keep pace, you know, I should reach it, you know, the next uh, month or two months, you know, hopefully maybe faster. Um, so I'm gonna do what I can to maybe boost the videos to to promote them to to really reach it because for the thousand subscriber special, I'm going to basically fulfill the request that I've been getting of doing another Pollock style painting. Now I've wanted to and it, it just hasn't worked out recently um, but I am to the point where I should be able to do that very soon and I want to. Uh, a lot of people like the Pollock style paintings. They like to see the process kind of beginning to end and I really want to show that off. So uh, once I reach the thousand subscribers then I will do one shortly after so we're pretty close and i want to do that so it's kind of exciting um, and actually i'm going to show you guys so and this is not going to be a small pollock style painting i 
just bought this bad boy right here. This canvas is four feet by five feet. It's one of the biggest canvases I've done. I've done another one before that was that size. I've done a few that were uh, large and almost that size that were, you know, longer than that, but thinner. So I've done large canvas before, but I haven't done too many of them. And I figure what better way to really kind of christen that big canvas than to do a Pollock style painting. So I already have an idea of, of kind of how I want to do it. Uh, so now it's just kind of the matter of getting the paint and doing it as the thousand subscriber special. So just look forward to that. All right, so we've got our base coat down, this light red. It's already starting to dry, so I really kind of want to work on the next layer. I mean, it's warm in here. It's still summer, so, you know, it's, it's just still warm. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put our gray down, and then we're going to pull it along and work it in. So I've got my corrugated plastic here. I'm trying to see which end was the flat end. I believe it was this end. So we're going to go ahead and pull that in. I'm going to put some, some real pressure into it. Go. Now I kind of like the the dynamic of these two colors, this light gray on the kind of red. Oh, sorry guys. I always tend to do that, you know? I was kicked that on accident. I don't, I don't know what my deal is. I'm going to scoot that down a little bit. Maybe you can see it a little better. All right. So let's go ahead and pull this other, this other piece of the gray through. see what kind of a dynamic we can get here. All right. Okay. I, I like that. Uh, I like that combination so far. It's pretty cool. All right. So before it dries, let's go ahead and throw on our next set of colors. We're going to do this, uh, the cadmium red, and you can see that I'm using Liquitex basics. Um, you know, I'm I'm kind of fond of them for the price that they are. Yeah, there are some some better paints out there, uh, quality wise and vibrancy wise, and so on and so forth. But for the price, Liquitex Basics is pretty solid. Um, so I've I've kind of grown fond of them, at least for doing these types of paintings. You know, not the maybe not my large ones or the ones that I want to kind of be shiny outside right out the gate. But you know, for doing simple paintings, they're they're very good. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna pull this one through. Now we're not gonna put a whole lot of pressure. We're gonna kind of lightly pull it through so that it stacks almost on top of the gray. And there we go. All right. So now we've got the three colors kind of on there, and you can see that the gray is still pulling through, but we've got a lot of red now, and we're going to do it to the top layer. And just barely pulling it along. And the paper is starting to bend with me, so at the end I kind of have to tilt it so that it covers the whole paper. All right. So not bad. Um, we're starting to lose a little bit of the gray, kind of unfortunate. Um, but I do also want to kind of cover the rest of this with the dark gray. So I don't want to lose all this dark, this light gray here. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to go ahead and put another coat of the gray, but I'm going to put it in front of the, like in the, the, the beginning of it. So that this little line kind of carries through, but then I'm going to put the, the dark grayish black um, behind it because when I bring that over, that will probably overshadow the dark gray or the light gray. So that's probably going to kind of make it disappear almost. Uh, at least that's my hope. All right, so let's go ahead and, and pull this through. 
and I'm going to put some, some pressure on it. And that's, uh, let's put a lot of that black on there. So I'm going to ease up on the pressure here. Okay. And then let's go ahead and do the top before we evaluate. Okay. All right. So here are my thoughts. It is too dark. The black overtook everything, which is unfortunate. I should have realized that going from light to dark as opposed to dark to light. But in this kind of stacking method, that kind of makes sense um, that it would do that. So I'm going to wipe this off real quick. And I think what I'm going to do... I don't know which um, I think I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and we're going to go against the grain and we're going to apply all of the other colors that weren't the black. So can you guys still see that or is it cut off? Looks like it might be cut off. So let's see. Okay, no. Actually, let's just pull this. I'm dropping stuff, guys. I'm about to drop my camera, actually. Come on, work with me. There we go. Okay. All right, that's good enough. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna try to get this to kind of come back to us. So we're gonna apply the gray, and we're going to apply a healthy amount. And then, I suppose, for the red, um, we kind of lost the dark red, but I also want some extra color in there. So I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do the layer, the bottom layer, color. And then we'll just uh, slowly kind of pull it through and see if, if pulling it through, I'm going to put a lot of pressure on it so that we can kind of see if we can really work this color over and we'll see what happens here. Okay, all right, I kind of like that. That's got some, some real character. And it kind of uh, divided those colors up, so now we've got a little bit of distinction. That's kind of cool. All right, well, I'm, I'm happy with where that's going. Let's, uh, let's do it to the top real quick. I'm going to do that right there. And we'll pull that through. And we're really going to pull those colors through, really putting some pressure on it. And that's it. And that is actually pretty cool. That actually, I actually like a significant amount. So we're going to go ahead and put that away before we ruin it. We're going to peel the tape away while it's still wet so that it doesn't dry to it. And of course, it doesn't want to come up. Why would it? Let's see if we can get it, get it up here. All right. Cool. Uh, go ahead and separate these so that it doesn't uh, pull the, the painting the wrong way. And we'll just gently, gently, gently pull this tape away. We don't want to go too crazy and, and pull it too fast and rip the painting. I really hate when that happens. And you can see that the, the tape actually makes a nice little border. Now, I always do this because I, I intend to sell these matted and framed anyway. So I intend to have like a mat, like a, a white square over the edges anyway. So you don't see the edges. So it doesn't matter if they're not perfect. All right, we're almost there. Almost there. Just pull this last bad boy off. All right. Okay. No 
Don't go crazy. Don't go crazy. Calm and collected. Pull it up nice and easy. Lemon squeezy. We've got it there. And we are. Oh! Home free. Okay, cool. Good. Good, 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 good. Alright, take my gloves off. The gloves are coming off, baby. Alright, so. Now I've got paint on my hands, so it's probably gonna get all over my phone. But that's okay. Alright, let's zoom out and let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy. Honestly, guys, I am kind of impressed with how it turned out you know i uh i thought for a moment there we didn't have it you know i was kind of thinking like hey this one's not gonna be good but i don't know i'm pretty uh pretty happy with it here i'll, I'll kind of show you guys the minor details we got this so we got this one little what i like is this one line okay so like some people might see this as like a defect, right? But I like it because it gives it character. And then also right here, you can see the different layers because you see the black underneath and then you see the red underneath that. But then you also see the gray, like almost like a shadow, right? So it gives it a lot of depth. And then we've got these thin lines through there. And got a couple of gouges, which is fine because again, it gives it character. Couple of pock marks, these lines. So, I like it. Um, actually, I I'm impressed with with the way that it turned out. I'm I'm happy and kind of glad that we got this one on camera. So, anyway, I mean that's it, guys. So I will uh, I'll see you in another video, probably before we hit a thousand. But just remember, once we hit that thousand, I'm gonna do another Pollock style painting. Okay, I promise. It's my my nard dog guarantee. If you've ever seen The Office, you can get it. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in another video. Take care, guys. Bye.